welcome to the voiceover. If you've not seen me do this before, we are doing a charcoal transfer drawing. You're going to need a reference photo and either a charcoal stick or a new pastel like I am using or even graphite will work. Basically, you want to get a really even coat of your uh, substance on the back side of your reference photo. Once it's on there, I'm going to blow off the dust wipe away excess so that we don't have it falling off onto our surface and then we're going to position it and tape it on. I like to do this in at least two places because if the tape comes undone it sucks really bad. Basically you'll lose your drawing spot and it's a nightmare to put it back on so don't do that. Now I'm outlining the outside of my moon and make sure you go ahead and check to make sure it's all transferring how you want and then I am going to use this pencil with somewhat of a flat head. I didn't want a mechanical pencil because it was too sharp but I'm using it to shade over the dark spots on the moon and then in a minute we're gonna go into slightly lighter shades of gray area to emphasize those star spots on the moon surface and some of those craters as well. I don't think star spots is what it's actually called, I just don't really know. Make sure you have all the details you want before you peel it off. This is my reference photo with uh, the graphite on it just for some reference of how much I used. And then I'm taking some hairspray, you can also use fixative, just doing a little sheen over the top of it to keep it in place. Now this is an oil painting tutorial, but for this first part I am just using some acrylic, ooh, satisfying, to uh, coat my background layer, that way it will be opaque, and when I go over it in the end with oil, we'll have a really even coating of paint back there. I'm using a square-headed brush, it's an acrylic brush for this part, I'm just very carefully going around the edges of this, smoothing it out as much as possible. Now using a medium sized round headed brush, I am doing all of my darker tones on the crater surface. We are just using a titanium white oil paint in a Mars black. The whole painting is done with just those two colors in varying mixtures. I started with my dark areas and I worked towards my light areas and then I just kind of did everything in between. Basically, it's like filling in a coloring book page when you use a charcoal transfer drawing. It makes it way simple and you have all of your shading already defined there for you if you transferred it the way I did. So it really just comes down to skill and precision with your brushwork and making sure you are using the appropriate amount of contrast in different areas. smoothing out the outside with some oil paint so that I can make my outer ring of my moon blend a little better. And then I'm taking a super, super tiny brush to do some detail work, adding in little dots of white, glimmers of light hitting to show the different surfaces of the moon. Those little details, as in my wave paintings, like with this, they really make a fantastic effort to improve just how realistic this is gonna look. And then taking our Mars Black, just making a smooth layer all around the outside. And voila, there we have it. Here is our moon painting. I have done this three times now, so do not feel bad if it does not go as quickly for you as it did for me, but this only took me an hour and 15 minutes. Pretty crazy. And definitely something I think is worth trying at home. If you decide to try to recreate this painting at home, make sure you hashtag it C Robin. The original version of this piece will be for sale at robinclons.com. I will have prints coming out in the future. Just need to get my merch and my print stuff locked down. If you guys have any great ideas about how to do prints, I would love more information on that actually. Leave it in the comments so I can look through it. If you liked this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for joining us on this journey. I will see you next Friday. Goodbye.